because your spirituality may in fact be pulling you farther and farther and farther away from your spirit. Do you get it? Because you don't have to be spiritual to experience your spirit. You don't have to meditate. You don't have to read A Course in Miracles. You don't have to be vegan. You don't have to do yoga. You don't have to whatever the practice might be. You don't have to do any of that. That's what I'm here to tell you. Because if you're doing it because you're trying to find something, then you have to, you have to, have to look at yourself and go, oh, wait a second. Because it's another egoic trick to try to get you further and further away from your light. So today I wanted to address something that is, <clears throat> I don't want to say it's controversial, but it's going to make you think. Say yes if you want to think, because um, I believe our spiritual path is is something that we have to use, we have to use our intellect for to get to our faith. And so uh, many times um, what happens is people just go on faith and they're not using their intellect at all. So that's not a good thing. That's not such a great thing, right? We have to have faith. We have to trust. We have to have all that stuff. But we also want to actually doubt and question, right? Most people come to a spiritual path because on some level, they're doubting or they're questioning the path that they're on and what, what they've done before. And it's kind of not working. It's kind of not working, right? Um, and that's why I'm probably a lot of you are here on Insight Timer because you are either have done a spiritual path for a long time or you're new to a spiritual path or you have been um, called to something higher, something different, something. Right. So immediately you're thinking you're like, hmm, there's got to be another way. I hope that makes sense to you. I think it does make sense to you. Something in you says Oh, I'm being called and there's another way to go, right? I want to ask you a question. Why are you spiritual? There's two questions. Why are you spiritual? And is your spirituality, spirituality, it's very important you understand I'm using my quotes, is your spirituality helping you? Why are you spiritual? What is the reason that you're spiritual? Just think about that for a moment. What's the reason you're spiritual? And that answer, you don't have to answer it yourself right now, but just think about that question. What is the motivation to be spiritual? That's a better question. What is your motivation to be spiritual? Just think about that. Because many times our motivation to be spiritual, not all the time, but many times our motivation to be spiritual is to, to do our best to try to find something we don't think we have. Do you understand? So we're trying to find something we don't really think we have. And so being spiritual is going to give me that thing we don't think we already have. Do you understand? Now, I want you to really look at that. Look at that. Because there is a difference between religion and spirituality, first of all. And there's a difference between um following an intuitive part of yourself and following the lack part of yourself. And of course, in miracles, the lack part of yourself would be called the what? The ego. So, and let me just say this very clearly. The ego, your egoic mind, we all have an egoic mind. That egoic mind has one job. 
And that one job is to make sure that you never discover your truth. So that one job that the egoic mind is going to tell you over and over and over is that you're not there, that you have to do this in order to get this. Now, hear me very clearly. This is not about saying you should meditate, you shouldn't do whatever you want to, right? But what is the most motivation to meditate? What is the motivation to do yoga? What's the motivation to practice A Course in Miracles? What is that motivation? There's nothing wrong with, hear me very clearly, there's nothing wrong with feeling that you lack something, but you have to think and you have to understand that that feeling, that motivation that something's inherently wrong with you will lead you down the path, can lead you down the path, this is not everyone, can lead you down the path of trying to get something that you already have. Take a deep breath. So let just let that sink in for a moment. Are you being spiritual because you believe on some level you don't already have something? Many people would say yes. It's fine. We're not here to criticize. I'm here to help you to think. I'm here to help you to go, oh my gosh, if I just do this, then I get this. This is the definition of duality. The definition of duality is um, there's black, there's white, right? Non-duality says everything's already here. It's already here. There's only love in truth, in truth. So one of my favorite teachers is Jed McKenna, and Jed McKenna says something that I think is really, really, really profound and important to look at here. He says something, I'm paraphrasing, he says something like, you know, there's all these people getting spiritual all over the place, but no one's waking up. That might be you. People have been doing a spiritual path for many, 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 many years, and guess what? They're not waking up. They're staying in this place of, I have to try to find it. I have to try to find it. I have to try to find it. So I want you to ask yourself, are you trying to find it? Because if you are, you kind of need to stop and say, what the hell am I doing and why am I doing it? Take a deep breath. I'm here to challenge you. I'm here to make you think. I'm here to make you go, hmm? You know, like when dogs have the ear and they go, hmm? I'm here to make you think. But this is something that everyone has to ask themselves. You have to ask yourself this. You have to. On the other side, if you're on a spiritual path and you're practicing, practicing, because it just keeps getting better and further and you keep seeing the illusion and stepping through the illusion, then that's a very different path than trying to find something. There's nothing wrong. Hear me. There's nothing wrong with trying to find something. You just have to understand that there is nothing wrong. I say that all the time, but it's true. So people are using, and, I would, and let me say this, stay with this. So some people are staying on their, they, that's how they get onto the spiritual path. And then they're like, oh, I get it. And now I can just relax. The whole point of real spiritual enlightenment, real spiritual enlightenment is that you wake up and then you just live. You just live in this playground called, called, this reality and understand what's going on here and get the game that's going on. And that's ultimately what's the most important thing is that you don't have to do any of it. You can if you feel like it, you can if it makes you feel good, but you don't need any of it. You don't need any of it, right? Take a deep breath. 
So this is something that, quite honestly, is not good for business. It's not good for the spiritual business to get this concept, because if you really get this concept, you're not going to be taking a class from the same place. You're not going to be reading another book from the same place. You're not going to be coming from the place of, I got to solve a problem. I got to solve a problem. I got to solve a problem. One of the things I say to my students over and over and over is that you are not a problem that needs to be solved. You're not. And when you start to get that, you're, I, this is I guarantee you, I guarantee you, you're going to buy a book for a very different reason. You're going to meditate from a very different place. You're going to share your life or whatever you're doing from a very different place. And that is when you're on the road to waking up.